Istanbul is a sprawling city reckoned to house close on 20 million people. It's divided by the mighty Bosphorus Strait. On one side lies Europe, on the other Asia. Reasons for the Istanbul rivalry can be viewed similarly. Over in Europe are Galatasaray, cross to the Asian side and you are in Fenerbahce territory. There's a lot of history and tradition. These are the two best teams in the country. And I think over the course of time, and because of the locations of both teams, one in Europe and one in Asia, this has made for a great rivalry. I think maybe something's made of that, that you know, one is in Asia, Fenerbahce are in Asia, and Galatasaray are on the European side. Um, but I think it's more to do with Galatasaray are sort of regarded as the aristocracy, whereas Fenerbahce are more the working class team over there. Galatasaray were founded in 1905 in the heart of the city at the prestigious Lisezi Galatasaray. It has indeed a reputation of being the club of Istanbul's elite. Galatasaray is a university and a lot of their board members or all the board members have been to that university and, and Galatasaray and Fenerbahce is more the working class. But right now, and, and Galatasaray have won a European competition, Galatasaray have been dominant until this recent history where Fenerbahce have taken over. Allied to a recent injection of cash, Fenerbahce have taken over then from Galatasaray as the powerhouse of Turkish football. But this transition of power has heightened already fragile relations between the clubs. I've only been involved in the one game, and there were lots of problems. We even had stadium issues of our own as our fans threw a lot of things at their coach. They threw things onto the pitch. Every little thing got them wound up. So it's a problematic game. Off the pitch problems have dogged this fixture in recent seasons. But the atmosphere remains unique. When the two clubs met in December 2006, the game was as highly charged in the stands as it was electric out on the field. The atmosphere on the pitch was great. <clears throat> Last game that we played in Fenerbahce. It was a good match. Unfortunately, there were some incidents. And that's not so nice, but on the pitch it was great. The fans of the other team they do not like you at all. They throw all kind of uh, stuff at you. But uh, from the other side, to live uh, such such a big derby, it's fantastic. There's never any love lost between either side in a Galatasaray for Nabachi clash. On this occasion, goals from two foreign imports, Alex and Matej Keshman, gave Fenerbahce a 2-0 win. A victory against the old enemy and a step towards the title. It was great because we won. It was perfect. And in the grander scheme of things, that victory helped us on our way to the title we've just won. Friday night before the derby and it's party night. Not even the wet weather can dampen Fenerbahce's spirits as fans gather to watch the two clubs clash at basketball, a common precursor to the football itself. Galatasaray basketball will play Galata um, Fenerbahce basketball and ladies basketball and, as well. There's, you know, there's rivalry at all levels, but the real, the real passion is shown when two football teams come together. Graham Sones knows firsthand about the unique passion in Turkish football. Back in 1996, his Galatasaray team won at Fenerbahce to lift the Turkish Cup. Soon as his celebrations were to make him a club legend. What happened? We won the cup and after the game, we went down to where our supporters were behind the, the goal and someone's handed one of the players a great big flag and they're all passing it around each other. And eventually it's handed to me and I wave it a few times turn round to hand it to someone and by that time all the supporters, all our players have gone back up to the halfway line. So I ended up running back up towards the halfway line with this great big flag and as I'm doing so I looked up into the stand and saw this director of Fenerbahce who had been very unkind to me when I arrived um, and he actually said, uh, you know what are Galatasaray doing, employing a cripple, he's referring to the open heart surgery I had had. So something flashed through my, my mind and I said, I'll show you who's a cripple. 
So I veered off to the middle of the pitch and planted it in the middle of the pitch. And, it, and as I turned round, then I realised what I'd done. It was, Supporters are now trying to climb the fence to get onto the pitch to murder me, I think. But, um, it, it received a great deal of publicity at the time, and I believe even today in, in the derby matches they still sell the T-shirts and pictures of me planting this flag on their, on their pitch. Yeah, April the 13th, 1996. It was the away game, Fenerbahce. We were in the stadium, and after the game, we won 2-1. And he just ran in the middle of the field with that big flag, you know. Like a crusader, you know. We love him. He's like hero, hero to us. He's a hero. We love him. Eso es recordado Everyone como, remembers it well. It was an unforgettable moment. It's a source of pride for all Galatasaray fans. They remember it well and regard Mr. Sunes as a real hero. Of course, from a Galatasaray point of view, but not for the Fenerbahce fans. If they'd caught him at that moment, I don't know whether they'd have bitten him or eaten him. I was feeling almost instantly that I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> Saturday, May the 19th, 2007, and it's the morning of the derby. The big question, would Galatasaray give the newly crowned champions a guard of honour? If Galatasaray do this, it'll be a first in Turkey. They'll be doing the right thing and showing the class to everyone. Because Galatasaray have already proved themselves with European success. For me, the right thing to do would be to form a guard of honour. Traditional as it may be, this fixture isn't exactly renowned for its sportsmanship, given all that's at stake. So what do the fans think about a guard of honour? If Galatasaray came to Kadikoy, I wouldn't applaud them either, and so I'm not expecting them to. But this year we beat every single team. We beat Trabzonspor, Galatasaray the first time round, and Besiktas. We haven't dropped a single point against any of the top nine teams. We've beaten everyone, so yeah, they should applaud us now. We're not going to applaud today. No way. They should know that. We just want to win today. The media created this debate the other day. Should we applaud or not? They never asked the fans if we were going to applaud, though. We're not going to. And that's that. By the time Saturday afternoon came around, the issue is largely forgotten. Home fans arrive several hours before the game. It's an amazing sight. For as far as the eye can see, there are throngs of red and yellow. Passers-by are greeted by a wall of sound. Supporters in great spirits and great voice, too, ahead of such an important game. It depends what the game is worth, but there's a really heavy atmosphere in terms of the rivalry. The fans here put their teams above almost everything, sometimes even their families. So it's slightly different to other countries. But lately, thankfully, nothing worse has happened than a few celebrations inside the ground.